Hi folks, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we're going to make a beautiful dish today, kind of inspired by some Irish ingredients, called butter poached cod with watercress sauce and boiled potatoes. Stay tuned. Okay, so great recipe. I know you guys are going to love it because it's perfect for your holiday table. That would be St. Patrick's Day. So the first thing we're going to do is take two bags of beautiful watercress. If you've never enjoyed watercress before, it's a, it's a salad green. It has a nice peppery note. It's super high in vitamins and, and just very healthy for you. But what we have to do first in order to make the watercress sauce is to blanch it. So what I have here is a medium pot here with some boiling water and literally we're just going to take this watercress, we're going to put it in this pot for just a couple seconds, pour it back out, squeeze the moisture out and we'll be ready for the next step. So literally just a couple seconds in there, I'm going to pull that out and we're going to strain it back into the colander. You see how nice that's wilted? And like I said, now we're just going to run as quick as we can some ice cold water on it and bring that, bring that temperature down. It's called arresting the cooking process. So again, it maintains that beautiful green chlorophyll color. All right, it's nice and cool now. You see how wilted, wilted that got down? And now we're just going to take it and we're going to squeeze the moisture out. And now literally you have it the size of a baseball. That's how much is left. And that's prepped and ready to go to the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our blanched watercress. We're going to put it in a small food processor. And along with that, we're going to put three cloves of garlic right in top. A little bit of olive oil. And just a little bit of fish stock so that we know it can pulse nicely and puree up completely. Let's close this. We're going to just grind back and forth and pulse it back and forth. And what you're trying to do here is completely get it to puree. Give it a couple more pulses here. It's not quite fine enough. Taste it real quick, see where we are from a flavor perspective. Okay, now we're just going to take a little bit of salt, Maldon sea salt. We're going to put that in. And we're going to put a little bit of black pepper. Okay, and just a little bit more stock. Pulse it one more time, we'll be good to go. Different spoon. Give it a taste. Good. Ready to rock and roll. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the majority of this out, okay? And we're going to hold it to make the sauce. But then what we're going to do is take a little, leave a little bit left with a little bit more olive oil and that we're going to use as a garnish and you'll see that later. Hard to believe those two big bunches, right? Came down to this little bit. Okay, the next step is we're gonna actually finish the sauce ahead of time and then move on to poaching the codfish, butter poaching the codfish, uh, because when that comes off being butter poached, you wanna plate it right away, get it off and, and enjoy it. So we're gonna make another roux. So this is two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put it over a medium to low flame, let that butter start to melt. And then once that melts, we're gonna stir in the flour 
and it gets like a sandy texture. We're going to cook out the starches a little bit and then start to add our liquid. So as you can see, that's starting to look a little bit sandy. We're going to just cook this out a little bit. This, again, wants to be a very pale or blonde roux, so you don't want to get any color on it. But we do want to get that starch cooked out. So we're right about there. You see how nice and gritty. It's almost sandy, wet sandy it looks like. Now we're going to take a cup of fish stock. As I told you before, we always have fish stock in the freezer so that when we go to make something, it's ready to go. And we put a first installment in there. Stir it around, right? A little bit more. Okay. Okay, stir that in. Come up to a simmer. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Then we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. Just dump it all in there. Stir it in. Again, bring that to temperature, meaning a little bit of a rolling simmer. Just up to getting to be a little bit of a simmer. And now we're going to take the majority of our watercress puree, minus the little bit we're going to use for a garnish, and we're going to spoon that in there, and you're going to see how beautiful this sauce becomes. Okay, you see how beautiful that sauce is? Again, we'll bring this up to a quick simmer, give it a quick taste. Well, oh, delicious, just delicious. Okay, so as you saw yesterday, we went to our one of our favorite fishmongers in Freehold called Woolies, beautiful fresh seafood. Um, our other one is Pisces, not too far just across the bridge in Tom's River, but it's important to get high quality fish when you're not catching it yourself and obviously we're not in the water yet so we didn't catch this ourselves but beautiful codfish fillet now portioning here is very important so i don't want to make huge portions but this is about an inch and a half thick absolutely gorgeous well cleaned so we're going to do two or three pieces like this and we can do two portion, two per portion, or one per portion. In this case, we're just going to do one per portion. And then these scraps we'll use for making a chowder or something of that nature later on. Okay, now butter poaching is a method by which you can really deliver some outstanding flavor. But you've got to be careful uh, in prepping it. So what we're going to do here is take one stick of butter. This is palugra. We talked about butter not always being equal. And we're going to put this on a little, very low flame. Okay, and then it's very important to add a little bit of oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, some kind of oil, because butter will burn. Butter has milk solids in it and it will burn. So we add that little bit of oil so that the smoking point of the, of the butter rises and it won't burn, not nearly as bad. So we'll just slowly, slowly, slowly melt. Then we're gonna take a couple cloves of smashed garlic and just flavor that butter, okay? Some beautiful fresh lemon juice. That'll help the fish caramelize just a little bit. So a half of a lemon worth of lemon juice. Okay. And then I like to put a little bit of cracked black pepper. from our fishing reel pepper mill that Danny got. Now what we're going to do is it's go as low as possible. We're going to put our cod right in there. And we're just going to let that poach. About four to six minutes on each side for that thickness of filet. Now one of the important things that I wanted to mention is that, you know, butter has quite a bit of salt in it. So I didn't put any salt in the poaching, the butter poaching uh, liquid because I'll season it with a little bit of Maldon uh, at the very end and it'll be just delicious and perfect for your table.
So you see how light this is? How slowly it's simmering and poaching in that butter? Again, about four to six minutes on each side. All right, so you see how that's just simmering. I'm gonna turn it back a little bit lower. Uh, this has been about four to five minutes and we're gonna now very, very gingerly flip the cod so that we poach the other side. Okay, look how gorgeous that looks, wowie. All right, now in the meantime, what we're gonna do, uh, now that it's gonna poach on the other side, I'm just gonna help this around, along a little bit by covering it. Now we're gonna take potatoes, okay, and a fork. Now, these are the little B-sized potatoes, and one of the things that I've done in previous episodes was cook them in the microwave, so I literally just put this in the microwave and a little bit of water for three minutes, okay? And now we're just going to take these potatoes and literally just smash them with a fork. Okay? They're beautiful little Yukon gold. And then we'll have, this is piping hot, and we'll be ready for when that's finished poaching to plate. All right, so now it's been six minutes on that side. The fish is just starting to flake and be beautiful, so now we'll get ready to plate. So we have our hot sauce here, right? And we have our potatoes that are still hot. So the first thing we're going to do is take some of these beautiful potatoes and put them right in the center of the dish. Okay, try to keep it nice and neat, nice border. Okay, now we will take just a little bit of this butter poaching liquid and we will season the potatoes. Okay, there. They're gonna be ridiculous, I gotta tell you. Okay. Turn our fish off. Now we're gonna take a little bit of our watercress sauce and we're gonna go around the rim of the plate. Okay, maybe two ounces, not a, not a ton. How good does that look? Then we will take a spoon and a little bit of our pesto just put a little bit down in various points of the plate here. So that creates a little bit of diversity in, in flavor. Okay, just a little spot more here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is just take a bamboo skewer and we'll just kinda Spread that out a little bit, give it a little textural look. Okay. And then very, very carefully, we're gonna take a beautiful piece of this poached fish, butter poached fish, sit it right on top, very carefully, very carefully. Okay. Something falls off, not a problem, just get rid of it. And then we're gonna finish this dish Again, with just a little bit of the pesto on top, and then a sprig of beautiful fresh watercress. So, when you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day this year, consider serving this. I know it'll be something that pleases the family. So, as we've grown accustomed to, we're going to get the, the skipper in here and let him give it the first bite and thumbs up or down. All right, skipper. Another dish down. Looks really good. Very festive. Very festive, yes. Very festive for uh, St. Patrick's Day. That's correct. So let me know what you think. I want to get a little bit of the potatoes, a little yeah, bit of the yeah, I'm pesto. doing my best. Mm. Yeah? Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever had this... butter poached anything? No, I never did. And what are your initial perceptions? I don't taste the butter. But it's got it's, nothing it's, but flavor. It's got nothing but flavor. I taste the garlic, the watercress, um... Pesto kind of gives it a little strong bite. Mm. And what do you think about watercress? Very unique, right? Yep, I never had it. Delicious. Peppery, Delicious. Good. peppery, but not a pepper like Good. hot pepper. Well, I'm going to catch up to you in a second here and plate one up for myself. I'm going to keep eating. Good. Well, in the meantime, folks, uh, hopefully this will give you some inspiration again for your for your holiday, your St. Patrick's Day meal, or at least. Then you got the potatoes into it. Oh, of course I got the potatoes into it. Right. So. Um, I'm going to keep eating. You please keep eating. So hopefully this will be perfect for your holiday table. This has been Chef Mike and Captain Dan 
with from the tide to your table. We'll see you in the water soon. Be safe and always again practice selective harvest. Keep our waterways healthy for our kids and their kids to come. Happy St. Patrick's Day.